Hello everybody, I'm SJM. Welcome back to Prominence. As you can see, today we're on a boat uh, because I had totally forgotten while I was out and about exploring there, I came across this, which I wanted to show you all. It's a fleet of boats. And it's, they've got villagers all over them. So it's sort of like a floating village of some kind, I'm not sure. I haven't even looked through the loot here yet, but uh, we can uh, just do that together here and see if there's anything interesting. That's not interesting. And I don't even have boots at this moment, so that's okay in that way. Looks like normal village loot. So unless you get lucky, it's probably nothing to write home about in here. You know what? Let's just take buckets of water. I can always empty them out. We need tons of buckets later. Ooh, sponges. Don't mind if I do on the sponges though. Kelp box. Don't think I need too many of those Archon books, but if I do, I just have to go adventuring. They're a dime a dozen. gold. Knock back snowballs. I'll take one. We can always test it out. I don't know what that one is. The Batania mana in a bottle. But we can grab it. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything too, too interesting. I'll uh, go and check out the other boats and then report back afterwards if I find anything decent and then I get to, I'll get i have to pick up my waystone there so I can uh, put it down in the nether where we're doing our explodey stuff because yeah I had, to, I had to go get sand at some point and uh, That's the other reason I'm out and about right now. Okay, we'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, been through all of the ships, nothing hidden anywhere. Uh, another gripe of mine is that we find lots of these uh, fish of thieves fishes in all of these common chests all over the place, but um, never any puffer fish. It's the only fish that I haven't seen out of all of them so and that's the only kind that I need right so I can uh, get my seashells built so I still got a couple of those that I need to make so that uh, I did find one lucky find is the crystal cutlass so this is the one the best one-handed version of the uh, of this spell blades and such. So if you want to do a, a spell based build, I think the cutlass is the one that you want to go with off of the top. So uh, just be on the lookout of those if you're going to be doing a magic based build because the magic isn't really magical in the fact that it's, it's not ranged, it's mostly melee, right? So as we talked about earlier. So at some point down the line I'll I do want to at least try it out, see if it's any decent at all. What is a water node? Oh yeah, 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 Archon, right? 
This could be neat. Yeah, I'm going to grab some sand so I can make more TNT and uh, do some explodey stuff on the other side and then we'll go over equipment upgrades uh, when I get back. Christmas carousels. And I had my weapon on it so I killed him by accident. <laughs> Not a big deal but at least I did find out whether they're uh, Hostile at all, which apparently not, not in the slightest. So I've got 4,500 blocks to go to travel to get back home. And I might as well do a little bit of adventuring on the way. As you can see, I've already got a... Heart of the Sea, so went and found a... Buried, oh, buried treasure. We'll see if there's anything else in and, in and along this ocean here, I guess. Bring you back if there's anything interesting. Otherwise, we'll see you in a few. Bamboo creepers are not hostile, so don't be freaked out if they sneak up on you, and they will sneak up on you. Because... They're pretty, they're pretty well camouflaged in these uh, jungle-ish areas. But I'm back at another one of these prismarine warped wood type of uh, areas. These are just super OP up in the top area. Which I think I, well, we did cover a little while ago, but the chests up there, I am always finding really good loot up at the top of these guys, so. We're gonna go up and check it out. Uh, from here, we go here and here. There's a lodestone as well. If you want to put one of these in your base and click a magnet on it, then the magnet will always point you back to your home if you don't like using the map or you're not used to that. Um, I don't know what other uses the lodestone has, so please don't ask because I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know the answer to the lodestone. boots. Glad we checked, right? Another diamond shovel. I think I have enough diamond shovels now, but it could always be uh, enchanting fodder for when we need to look for decent enchants. A little bit of gold. So this one was relatively barren, but two others that I found turned up quite a quite a bit of decent loot. So always come and check this area of these big towers. Ah, I had seen a couple of these when I was flying over top of uh, a jungle biome in the when I was doing a big explore. So. I guess we may as well go through one here together. Doesn't look like there's anything underneath here. Don't know if I want to go in through the bottom or through the top. And 
guess we may as well apply the shaders and grab a torch so we can see while we're down here. Diamonds. Worth taking a couple of points of damage to get rid of the spawner first. diamonds. Just looking at the mini map. This map, I don't think, yeah, there's too much else down here. I guess it might be worth digging into some of the walls somewhere, but I can't be bothered to do that. Well, it's not even nighttime. So yeah, popped right down there, good little bit of diamonds, and then there's a jungle temple right over there. This is not a regular jungle temple. these traps there for a minute. Obviously triggering the observer didn't do anything interesting. Well, I've found a whisper wind before, but never hurts to grab one of those guys. statues. Look at it again. Yeah, they're statues. Uh -huh, that's funny. careful of tripwires because I don't want this whole place going kaboom while I'm so deep down inside of it. Let's go over that gap please. Oh yeah, that just came down there. you got to crouch to get out of it.
Ha ha ha. And I guess there's no reset on it. That's bad. Thought this whole thing was gonna go up in. Oh, there is a reset. Okay. Dripstone. Something wants to fall on top of us there. Hmm. And now we got the jungle temple puzzle, right? I don't know the actual solution to the jungle temple puzzle. Let them bury back into their dormant selves again before we retry that. Ah. All right. Go back to your home. The two-handed weapons, your uh, offhand gets. All right, I was just being stupid about that whole area. be interesting to see if there was something to uh, to it though this is what we came for first time I've seen one of these cursed decks it is a two-handed epic gold sword Maybe some of this garbage that we don't need Hold on to the dripstone. I don't know if it has consequences. I've got like a half a stack back at the base from other areas. Well, that was disappointing. Ah yes, this is where you flip the switches, change the redstone torches. That's what it feels like anyway. There's all 
all sorts of redstone down here. somewhere. Right, that definitely changed a switch. I see. You have to get them all lit up or all off. I'm not sure which one. That one will turn the middle one on and those two off. That one will turn that. 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 Let's start with all off. Nope. Now all on should be trickier. Okay, we got those on now. Side. So that'll be all on. Then I must mess this side up. So this was a Young's Better Jungle Temple. If you want to cheese it, just dig your way through there, I guess. Don't know if there's any other redstone that'll mess, mess it up and blow up this room on you. But yeah, if there was TNT here, I'd probably want it, right? So it's kind of worth a look. Yeah, no such luck. Nice. Oh, hello. A rare bubble bow. That's only got five... This one has eight projectile damage. I think that's it for this one. 
And this episode's getting a little bit distracted now, so... Maybe we won't be doing so much in the way of the, uh... I forgot about that stupid gap. Watch for it there. Yeah, super interesting. My first time to go through this one of these guys. And yeah, just happy I got it figured out. And we got down to the bottom. I thought there was a village down this way somewhere. Which is why I made this temporary waypoint. Hoping that I could find a a waystone there, so does not appear to be any villagers. Another one of those ziggurat. Buildings, but no, no need to get distracted there. Okay, that was just a one of those. Technically, there's a village here, but it's not really a village, is it? It's good to know that the snow doesn't fall in the hot biomes, too, in the wintertime. So if you don't want to have to deal with snow, then base in one of the hot biomes. Okay, yeah, those things do appear in the gra in the water sometimes. Oh, hello. I have not seen one of you guys before. Can I ride you? Are you tameable? on back down. Yes, they're rideable. Love me. but you can't put a saddle on them. Let's see.
All right, interesting. Giant moth. Today I learned. The giant moth is rideable. All right. I think I'll probably wrap up this episode here now. Oh. This is... dangerous little house. There's got to be an upstairs to this place, right? Yeah, here it is. Stray Fortress. Conduit Ruins. guys are outside somewhere. Yes, I am. Alright. I think there's any reason to stick around there any longer. And with that, I guess it's time to move along. Anyways, I appreciate you all for checking out the episode, and we will see you in the next one.